Okay, here's my bedroom. We've got um, walls that are painted, doors, windows, and we've got floors put in. We're now going to use something called decal to add things like tile effects on the walls or pictures or images of um, mirrors, things like that. So this is what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to have a folder. So I've made sure I've got on my desktop Revit Bedroom Examples is my folder. All my Revit versions I've, sa I've saved in here. And I've got two other folders. Now you should set yours up something like this so everything's in one place. Downloads folder contains all the BIM objects I've downloaded like beds and things like that that I'm going to put into my design. But I've also got a folder called Images. These are just JPEG pictures that I've used. I've got for the internet using Google Images. And we're going to use some of these now to make our decals up. So let's go back into here. I'm in my Insert tab. So you're probably on Architecture to start with. Click on Insert. When you go to Decal, there's two things you have to do. You have to make your decal, and then you have to place it. So we're going to make one first. So very simply, we're going to um, create a new one. I'm just going to call this one Blue Tiles. Once it's got a name, I click on the name and I go for a source. So I'm going to click in here. Mine's on my desktop and it's in my example bedrooms, downloads, images. And if I want to look at them a bit better, I can change the view to thumbnails. And I'm just going to go for this um, deep blue color here. Click open. And you can see now blue tiles, there's the image of blue tiles. I'm going to say OK. That's all I need to do. The second step then is to place that decal. So I'm going to hit place. Now, the decal will come up here as the latest one. If you've got more than one made, you just click and choose from the list. But I've only got one at the moment. There's my decal. If I want to put on this wall, now I can put it as close to the corner as I want and click. Now, it looks too small. That's fine. I don't want to put a second one down at the moment. I'm just going to press Escape to come out of this tool. I'm on my Modify. Click on it. Now, I might zoom in here so you can see this a bit more clearly. But basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag until this covers the wall. Now, it doesn't matter if it goes off the bottom or even off the top because even though you might see it in this view there's the corner there you might see it in this view when you render it it doesn't show the bits hanging off the edges don't show so really all we ever end up seeing there is the fact that we've got this tiled wall added on okay I'm gonna do one more for you just to show you it's exactly the same process if you want to put floors down so if you want to put a carpet here or a pine floor or something you do the same thing we might want to put a picture and I'm gonna put a picture on this wall so I'm going to go back to my decal, I'm going to go decal types, I'm going to make one, I'm going to call this one Mona Lisa, I'm going to find that picture of the Mona Lisa that I downloaded, there we go, click open, she's in there, click OK, this time I'm going to go decal place, you can see Mona Lisa's defaulted because it was the last one, and I'm going to pick my picture of the Mona Lisa on that wall and then press escape. Now in the same way if I want to resize that to make it bigger or smaller I can but that's the, the window, uh, sorry that's the picture stuck on there at the time at the moment. So anything that you can find on Google Images, if you want to put a picture of a mirror, you want to put a poster on the wall, whatever, you can do that kind of thing and you can do the same thing with carpets and flooring. Okay, off you go, good luck.